Have you ever watched the classic film Dark Victory? If not, you're in for a treat. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts about it that'll keep you hooked. When did you first experience this cinematic gem? We'd love to hear your memories and stories in the comments below. Dark Victory is a compelling tale that follows the journey of a young woman facing a devastating illness. As she navigates through life's challenges, she discovers unexpected truths about love, friendship, and resilience. With its timeless themes and memorable performances, this movie has captured the hearts of audiences for generations. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share it with us and join the conversation. Keep watching this space for more fascinating insights into Dark Victory. In the realm of classic Hollywood films, there exists a timeless gem that encapsulates the essence of an era gone by. Led by a stellar cast and orchestrated by a skilled director, this movie holds a special place in cinematic history. It's a tale of resilience portrayed with depth and nuance by the lead actress, whose personal struggles only added layers of complexity to her performance. Behind the scenes of this cinematic masterpiece, there was determination and perseverance. The lead actress faced challenges but ultimately triumphed, securing her role and delivering a portrayal that resonates even today. Throughout the film, the setting transitions seamlessly from the bustling streets of Manhattan to the tranquil countryside, each environment captured with precision and beauty. At its core, this movie remains a poignant reminder of the power of storytelling. With its captivating performances, evocative narrative, and timeless charm, it continues to enchant audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the annals of cinematic history. In the world of movies, some actors and actresses really stand out. Take Humphrey Bogart, for example. He starred in three films that made it to the American Film Institute's list of 100 most inspiring movies of all time. Ronald Reagan, known for both his acting and later his politics, was in two movies that were nominated for Best Picture. Two talented actresses, Betty Davis and Geraldine Fitzgerald, had some memorable moments together on screen. They appeared in a film called Watch on the Rhine in 1943 and also shared the spotlight in Shining Victory in 1941. Their work together showcased their chemistry and skill as actors. These actors and actresses have left a lasting impression on the movie industry. Their movies continue to captivate audiences around the world, showing the power of storytelling through film. It's clear that their work has had a big impact and will be remembered for a long time to come. Starring notable actors like Humphrey Bogart and Betty Davis, Dark Victory marked the second collaboration between Davis and director Edmund Gooding. Bogart appeared in six films alongside Lauren Buckhall, including Dark Victory. Additionally, he co-starred with Davis in four other romance films listed by the American Film Institute, such as Casablanca and The African Queen. Gooding and Davis had previously worked together on That Certain Woman and would collaborate again on The Old Maid and The Great Lie. This partnership between actors and director contributed significantly to the success and enduring appeal of Dark Victory. In the movie Dark Victory, Judith's generous donation of $50 to the orchestra in one scene may seem modest, but adjusted for inflation, it equals over $160 in today's money. Betty Davis, who played the lead role of Judith, revealed that the character Anne was added by screenwriter Edmund Gooding so that Judith wouldn't have to express her own tragedy outright. Off-screen, Betty Davis faced personal turmoil due to her failing marriage, leading to a nervous breakdown during filming. However, producer Hal B. Wally saw an opportunity in Davis's real-life emotions, believing they could enrich her portrayal of Judith. Despite her marital struggles, Davis engaged in a romantic relationship with her co-star George Brent, with whom she shared the screen in a total of 11 films. In one pivotal scene in Dr. Steele's office, she struggles to light a cigarette, signaling something amiss. Edmund Gooding devised this moment, highlighting Betty Davis's character's turmoil. Interestingly, Davis and Spencer Tracy also portrayed their roles in a radio adaptation. Barbara Stanwyck initially aspired to play the lead in the film, but was surpassed by Betty Davis. Additionally, Ronald Reagan's connection to the story resurfaced due to his friendship with studio mogul Lou Wasserman, prompting scrutiny. The allegations were dispelled after a federal investigation cleared Reagan of any wrongdoing. Betty Davis persisted in persuading Warner Brothers to acquire the rights to the story, convinced it would be a successful project for her. Initially, studio chief Jack L. Warner opposed the idea, arguing against the appeal of a storyline involving blindness. Despite his reservations, the film emerged as one of the studio's most significant achievements that year. During filming, a memorable moment unfolded when the emotionally charged scene required Betty Davis to navigate upstairs following her character's blindness due to a brain tumor. 
As Davis felt her way up the steps, she paused halfway, abruptly halting the scene. Walking back downstairs, she confronted director Edmund, gooding about the music score's composer, Max Steiner. Asserting her stance, Davis made it clear that either she or Steiner would ascend the stairs alone, refusing to share the moment with him. Initially, David O. Selznick owned the screen rights, but relinquished them to focus solely on Gone with the Wind. This decision paved the way for Dark Victory to materialize under Warner Brothers. Delving into the background of a significant film, we uncover fascinating connections and insights. One such example is Ronald Reagan's link to a movie from 1939 which adds an intriguing layer to its story. Investigative journalist Dan Moldia explored this connection in his book Dark Victory, Ronald Reagan, MCA and the Mob, shedding light on Reagan's involvement during his presidency. This film originated from a play that debuted in New York in 1934, with Talula Bankhead playing the lead role. Despite the play's short theatrical run, its transition to the big screen left a lasting mark. In a 1971 interview, Betty Davis, who starred in the movie, revealed that the entire filming process was completed in just four weeks. This highlights the efficiency and dedication of the production team. These insights into the film's background, including its ties to politics, theater, and production, offer a deeper understanding of its historical significance and cultural relevance. In a classic movie from back in the day, a character named Judith Trahern, played by Betty Davis, cruises around in a cool 1938 Buick convertible. Although the film didn't snag an Oscar at the 12th Annual Academy Awards in 1940, it still won over audiences of all ages. People remember it not just for the great acting, but also for its touching story about love and loss. Even without an Oscar, Dark Victory remains a beloved movie. It made it onto the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 America's greatest love story movies in 22. With its unforgettable characters and gripping plot, it still keeps viewers hooked, showing that it's more than just an award-winning movie. It's a special film that has left a lasting impression on the history of cinema. In the early stages of casting for the movie, Greta Garbo and Merle Oberon were considered for the role of Judith Traer. However, it was ultimately Betty Davis who played the character with great skill. Alongside her was George Brent, who frequently acted with her. During the filming, they had a romantic relationship that lasted two years. Their chemistry on screen was just as strong in real life, which added an interesting aspect to the movie. Additionally, a radio adaptation of the film was aired on Lux Radio Theater in January 1940. Betty Davis reprised her role for this adaptation, allowing listeners to experience the story in a different way. Both the movie and its radio version were hugely successful, making Dark Victory a timeless classic in Hollywood history. In the realm of Hollywood's golden age, one actor's journey stands out as a testament to the power of talent and resilience. Throughout a series of acclaimed films, this actor's performances left an unmistakable impression on audiences worldwide. Their ability to inhabit diverse roles with authenticity and depth propelled them to the forefront of the industry. Following a breakout role in a highly successful film, the actor found themselves inundated with offers from directors eager to collaborate. Their knack for bringing characters to life resonated deeply with both critics and viewers solidifying their position as a sought-after talent. Despite narrowly missing out on the highest honors at award ceremonies, the actor's impact on cinema remains undeniable. Their contributions transcend mere accolades, leaving an enduring imprint on the art form itself. From the heights of success to the close calls on awards night, their journey is a testament to the timeless allure of storytelling on the silver screen. As the curtain falls on each chapter of Hollywood history, this actor's name shines brightly a reminder of an era when the magic of cinema captivated audiences around the globe. In relation to the 1939 film, it's quite a big deal in the world of movies. It's even on the American Film Institute's list of 250 films considered for a high's 100 years of film scores. Actors like Geraldine Fitzgerald and Humphrey Bogart played key roles in making it a hit. Fitzgerald was part of five movies nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, and this one was one of them. Bogart, too, had his mark with six Best Picture nominees, and this film was one of his gigs. While Bogart's acting was a plus, Fitzgerald's performances in various movies, including this one, really connected with the audience. All these things contribute to why this classic film is still remembered and loved today. In a television roast, Betty Davis received humorous praise from Vincent Price, who remarked on her dedication to her roles, citing examples from her films such as The Private Lives of Elizabeth and Essex and Dark Victory. 
Henry Travers, a prolific actor, appeared in seven Oscar Best Picture nominees, including one of Betty Davis's films, as well as the iconic It's a Wonderful Life. Davis herself regarded her role in this film as her favorite. Isn't it fascinating how rumors can sometimes take on a life of their own? There's this story floating around about the director of a certain movie hiring Sigmund Freud as a consultant. But get this, Freud had already passed away before the film was even made. It's a bit funny to think about what Freud might have said if he were still around, considering how much he knew about how people think and feel. Now, let's talk about the cool vintage car in that movie. It's a 1937 Dodge Business Coupe, and it's driven by the main actress. This old car gives the movie a real old-timey vibe like you're stepping back in time. And let me tell you, when that engine roars, it really grabs your attention and makes the scenes more exciting. Oh, and did you know that back then, it cost $1,000 to enter the National Horse Show? That's a lot of money. Nowadays, that would be like shelling out $21,000. It's crazy how prices have changed over the years, right? So, while it's fun to hear gossip like the one about Freud advising on the movie, it's important to check the facts. But hey, these little stories just make you appreciate the movie even more, don't they? They show us how much work goes into making something great like that. In another film, The Other Love, released in 1947, a storyline similar to Dark Victory unfolds. In this narrative, a woman grappling with a severe illness forms a romantic bond with her doctor, only to discover he hasn't been entirely forthcoming about her condition. Feeling betrayed, she embarks on a reckless path, but eventually returns to her doctor, accepting whatever time they have left together. Before Dark Victory's production, Gloria Swanson attempted unsuccessfully to bring a similar story to the screen. Geraldine Fitzgerald, known for her role in Wuthering Heights, also portrayed a memorable character in Dark Victory as Betty Davis' loyal friend Anne. In one of the most memorable performances of her career, an acclaimed actress delivered a compelling portrayal in a film that has left a lasting impact on audiences. This classic movie, which first aired in 1956, not only showcased the talent of the actress, but also featured a significant role for a vintage vehicle, adding to its timeless charm. Set against a backdrop of uncertainty and emotional turmoil, the story follows a character whose journey resonates deeply with viewers, leaving a lasting impression. The film explores themes of love, loss, and resilience within the framework of societal norms and personal struggles, with the actress's performance adding depth and authenticity to the character's experiences. Throughout the narrative, audiences are drawn into a world where emotions run high and decisions carry weighty consequences. The actress's portrayal of the character navigating life's complexities with grace and dignity captivates viewers, reminding them of the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Through stellar performances and timeless storytelling, the movie remains a beloved classic, leaving an indelible impact on audiences everywhere. Its legacy serves as a reminder of the power of cinema to touch hearts and minds continuing to resonate with viewers across generations. In a twist of fate, the role originally meant for Miriam Hopkins ended up in the hands of Betty Davis. Despite the producer's initial preference, Davis's strong presence and impressive talent won them over. Her performance brought depth and intensity to the character, captivating audiences worldwide. Davis's portrayal in the film cemented her status as one of Hollywood's most powerful actresses, earning praise and awards. Dark Victory became inseparable from Davis's name, ensuring its lasting popularity with audiences. This choice was a turning point for both Davis's career and the movie itself, leaving a mark on cinematic history for years to come. In a tale that resonates deeply with audiences, a classic film unfolds, showcasing the journey of a young socialite grappling with a devastating illness. Directed by Edmund Gooding, this cinematic gem features a stellar cast, including a renowned actress in the lead role. Despite its somber theme, the movie offers moments of warmth and connection, reminding viewers of the importance of love and friendship in difficult times. As the story reaches its pointy climax, it leaves a lasting impression, serving as a timeless reminder of life's fragility and the bonds that sustain us. Crafted with powerful performances and heartfelt storytelling, this film stands as a testament to the enduring impact of cinema. In an unexpected twist during the making of a classic movie in 1939, a fascinating behind-the-scenes story unfolds. The main actress, known for her great acting skills, wasn't initially keen on playing the role, but the director convinced her, setting the stage for a compelling journey ahead. The film explores a serious topic, diving into the life of a wealthy young woman dealing with a serious illness. It's a sad story about love, loss, and the passing of time. 
Throughout the movie, we see the main character struggling with her failing health, leading to a very emotional ending. The actress's portrayal of the character adds depth to the story. Her performance really makes you feel for the character's struggles. The way the story is told and acted out leaves a strong impression on the audience, making it a memorable movie. Even though there were challenges during the making of the film, it's a powerful exploration of human emotions. The story and the acting together make it a timeless piece of cinema that still resonates with people today. Made with a combination of talent and determination, this movie, despite its uncertain start, shows how storytelling can really move people. When the movie ends, you're left thinking about the emotions it stirred up. While working on a movie in 1939, a sad truth came to light. Despite the film's big success, its star Betty Davis was dealing with a heavy heart. Her husband had just found out he was very sick, which made filming for her incredibly tough. However, Davis used her personal sorrow to make her role even more powerful, touching the audience in a special way. The director, Edmund Gooding, made sure every part of the movie, from the gloomy lighting to the moving music, helped show the depth of sadness and loss that Davis was feeling. This attention to detail made the story even more impactful. This movie's story, along with Davis's amazing acting, made it unforgettable. Even though it's a sad movie, it still draws people in with its honest look at grief and finding peace. This film shows how movies can shine a light on the hard parts of life. Its lasting impact reminds us how stories can deeply affect us, connecting with viewers years after it was made. Isn't it fascinating how an actor's personal connection to a role can shape how we perceive a film? Take, for example, the lead actor in this particular movie. She poured so much emotion into her character that she couldn't bring herself to watch the entire film. It's like she lived the role, feeling every moment of it deeply. This choice added an extra layer of mystery to her already legendary performance. The story itself is rich with complexity, exploring themes of life, love, and the inevitable. It's the kind of narrative that resonates with people on a deep level, leaving a lasting impression. And the actor's decision to distance herself from the finished product only adds to the intrigue. The movie continues to capture the hearts of new generations, reminding us of the power of storytelling. It's not just about the plot. It's about the emotions, the dedication, and the stories behind the scenes. That's what makes it truly unforgettable. In the end, it's a beautiful example of the transformative nature of cinema, leaving memories that last a lifetime.